From building the prissiest oil field to expanding airports like crazy and constructing huge nuclear power plants to creating superfast trains, here are some of the largest projects on Earth. Let's start with the number five, Tel Aviv's Light. This is Israel's biggest transportation project, a rail system that costs a whopping $20 billion. It includes three main rail lines, the red, green, and purple lines, which together stretch for 90 kilometers. These lines will carry a total of 228 million passengers each year. The first line, the red line, is about to start serving passengers in just a few days. So why is this rail system being built? Well, Tel Aviv, a big city in Israel, has been needing a project like this for many years. Right now, if you want to go from one place to another in Tel Aviv, you have to take slow buses, use services like Uber, or just walk. But with more and more people living here, the roads are getting really crowded. That's why Israel has been thinking about building a train system since the 1960s. But there were problems with politics and money, so it took a long time to actually start working on it. Now finally, after 60 years, Israel is building this train system. Most cities make these systems underground, but Tel Aviv is doing something different. They're making a mix of underground and above-ground tracks. The first part of the system is the red line, which goes from Pita Tikva to Bat Yam. Half of the track is in tunnels that connect to 10 underground stations. This red line is just the beginning of a bigger plan to change how people travel in Tel Aviv. In the next five years, they'll add the purple and green lines to the system. Now let's move on from underground trains and talk about a really big project that's changing air travel in one of the busiest cities in the world, the Dubai Airport Expansion. Number 4. Al Maktoum Airport Expansion Dubai has grown into a big city and a major business hub in the Middle East. Many people from all over the world visit the city. To handle all these travelers, Dubai has two huge airports, the International Airport and the Al Maktoum International Airport. The Al Maktoum Airport is getting a huge makeover that will cost $33 billion. When it's done, it will be the biggest airport in the world, both in size and the number of passengers it can handle. To give you an idea of how big this expansion is, let's compare. The busiest year for the airport so far was 2019, with about 1.6 million passengers. But after all the planned expansions, it will be able to handle 150 times more passengers. This makes it much bigger than any other airport, even Dubai International. The expansion is happening in three phases. They'll add more runways, terminals, and other facilities. They'll also build roads and a metro network to make it easier to get to the airport. By the end of the first phase, the airport will be able to handle 130 million passengers each year. Some say this phase might be done by 2030, but it's more likely to be in the mid-2030s. The third phase, which might be done around 2050, will make the airport able to handle 255 million passengers. This is more than twice as much as Atlanta Airport, which is the biggest in the world right now. Why build such a huge airport? Well, Dubai is growing really fast, and there will be so many travelers that the current airport won't be enough. Also, Dubai wants to stay competitive because a neighboring country, Saudi Arabia, is also building a big airport. If they don't expand, Saudi Arabia's airport might become bigger than Dubai's. So, the Al Maktoum expansion is a way for Dubai to stay important in the business world. Next, let's talk about another huge project that's happening in America something on the scale we haven't seen in 30 years. Number 3. Plant Vocal Reactor 3 and 4 This huge construction area is where they've been working on a nuclear project for 14 years. They're building two more nuclear reactors at the Plant Vocal Place in Georgia. One of them, Unit 3, just started working this July. When the fourth reactor is finished, they will make a lot of electricity, enough for about 500,000 homes. But the story of how they got to this point goes back a long way. There were already two reactors at Plant Vopel that started running in 1987 and 1989. These were the only ones there for a while, making a total of 2,450 megawatts. As time went on, people realized that coal and gas power won't last forever. Wind and solar power also have problems. Nuclear power plants can be a good way to make clean and reliable energy. So in 2009, Georgia decided to upgrade the plant. They wanted to provide clean energy to about 3 million people and reduce pollution. Back then, they thought the project would be done by 2017 and cost $14 billion. But things didn't go as planned. Construction was delayed even before it started in 2012. 
because of safety concerns after a nuclear accident in Japan. They tried to speed things up with new designs, but that caused more problems. By 2015, the project was three years behind, and the cost went up to $22 billion. Then, the pandemic came and made things even more complicated. Workers had shorter schedules, which meant more delays. Finally, in mid-2022, they got the approval to start using Reactor 3. But guess what? They found big problems, and the wiring had to be redone. So after seven years of delays and costs going up by 250%, they finally started Reactor 3 last month. The fourth reactor will be ready by early 2024. Even though there were a lot of problems, people think this is still a big success. It will give clean electricity for a long time, around 60 to 80 years. Now let's talk about a really big oil project, which might be the last of its kind. Number 2. The Kashigan Oil Field Oil is something people really want all around the world. That's why countries and companies spend billions of dollars every year to find new places with oil. Back in the year 2000, they found a really big amount of oil in the Caspian Sea, near Kazakhstan. This place is called the Kashigan Oil Field, and it has enough oil to power the whole world for five months. At first, they thought this project would cost $10 billion, but it turned out to be much harder than they thought. The oil is really deep, about 4.5 kilometers under the sea. The weather there is super cold, sometimes even below minus 20 gigs Celsius, and there's a lot of ice. Regular ways of drilling for oil in the sea didn't work here, so they had to build five artificial islands to help with drilling. More than 5,000 workers stayed on these islands and worked in the freezing cold to build pipelines. These pipes would carry the oil from the wells to the places where they process it on land. It took them about 10 years to finish everything, and they ended up spending way more money than they planned, four times more. Finally, in 2013, they were ready to get oil from the Kashigan oil field. But not long after they started, a big pipe broke and caused a lot of problems. They had to stop everything again and fix it, which cost even more money. People were surprised and wondering how a project with so much money and big companies involved could have so many problems. This kind of thing happens a lot with big oil projects. A company called Chevron found that between 2007 and 2010, only 8% of similar projects were on time and close to the budget. After fixing the pipe, they kept working, and a few years later, in 2016, they finally started getting oil from the field. Now, the Kashigan oil field makes 400,000 barrels of oil every day. It was a really complicated and expensive project. As the world tries to use less oil, we might not see another project like this again. Number 1. The Chuo Shinkansen If you've been enjoying this video, please help us reach our goal of 1 million subscribers by subscribing to Top Futuristic. Thank you so much! Now let's talk about the most expensive mega project. Our final project takes us to Japan, a country known for its unique buildings, traditions, crafts, and how well things work. Around 32 million tourists visit Japan every year and many of them are fascinated by one thing, the Shinkansen or bullet train. This amazing train shows how efficient Japan is. It's incredibly fast, going up to 320 kilometers per hour. For over 60 years, these trains have hardly ever been late, and there's never been an accident causing injury. Now, Japan is working on something even more incredible, a super fast train that will connect Tokyo and Osaka in just 67 minutes, traveling at speeds over 500 kilometers per hour. They're using maglev trains that use magnets to hover above the tracks. Building this new train, called the Chuo Shinkansen, started in 2014 and will happen in two parts. The first part will connect Tokyo to Nagoya by 2027. This is a big job because most of the route will go through tunnels. The second part will connect Osaka to the new line and should be done by 2037. We'll have to wait and see if Japan can finish this ambitious project on time. Do you know about other big projects that we should talk about in the future? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with more next time.